It's Presenter Search on 3, proudly brought to you by Cafetech and Mac Cafe. At the crack of dawn, the top nine contestants arrive on set for the Expresso Morning Show. These early morning call times, I don't know if I was made for them. I don't even know if my voice is ready for this. Feeling rough. Uh, yesterday was a lot of emotion to go through and now to just wake up and do it again, that's quite an ask, especially at this time. I wake up this morning and I'm sick. I literally feel like death warmed up. The irony of a doctor being sick, right? Hello, presenter hopefuls. Hi, Hi Maggie. <laughs> looking like you could have done with a little bit more sleep. I am so tired. I have not had to be up this early in like ever. It's Expresso Studios. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling so nervous. But this is how it's going to be for one of you. You'll be on the set, it'll be your new home because today we're taking over the Expresso Morning Show. <laughs> You'll be hosting three hours of live television. Now, the thing about live TV, ask me, I know, is that everything happens fast and there's no real room for error. So you can't just stop, you can't hesitate, there's no second chance. You've just got to give it your all. Plus, the judges will be watching each and everything that you do. So it really is do or die. I've never gone live before. This challenge will be my first ever live experience. But I'm looking forward to it. The studio is colorful, so I'm feeding off the colors of the studio. And I'm just really excited. It's definitely game on. It's about to go down. You're never alone on this presenting journey, right? Behind the scenes, there are a whole bunch of people who are working exceptionally hard to make sure that you deliver your best. And I'd like to introduce you to two of those people who work right here at the Expresso Morning Show. Lena is the show producer and Lucian is the studio manager and director and here they are. Good morning, Pabby. So you have a very important task. I'm going to hand the contestants over to you so you can explain to them what you do and what they're in for this morning. Welcome presenter hopefuls and well done for making it here. Thank you. It's nice to meet you all. Top nine, congratulations and welcome to Expresso, the live show on SABC3. There's no stopping, there's no breaks and everything goes just like this. So are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what I do is I'm a show producer and I put together a technical script. This is going to be your baby. It's going to be your lifesaver. It's what you're going to be doing for three hours, right? And then I also compile a Bible which comprises of seg briefs. And that's how your segment is going to play out. Your questions, who your guests are, and what your content is. I'm getting this espresso brief and it's just words, show Bibles, tech scripts, something or other, I don't even know. I'm overwhelmed, it's just a lot of information. It is a lot to take in right now. There's a Bible, there's a script, and I'm told there's going to be somebody yelling in my ear. Whoa, okay, but you know, let's do this. Lucian and Lena are super scary. As tiny as Lena is, you can see that she packs a lot of power and Lucian does not shy away from a side eye. And I'll be the one who execute everything from here to the, the cameras with you guys. So what's going to happen on the live show, I'll be with you hand in hand all the way through from 6 till 9 telling you exactly where to be, what to do and who your guest will be. So when Lucian says jump, you say? How high! <laughs> Lucian and Lena have so much energy so early in the morning. These guys have been doing this for a while, so I'm in good hands. These are the people who put the show together every single day. They make it sound so easy, but we know it's not going to be. These people are pretty jacked up. I think they are the real shot callers in this place. Even though Lena is small and Lucian is fabulous, they terrify me because this is their show. So everything I say, I've got to listen to that. Three hours of live television. Let's rock. It's early. I'm not used to this. My day starts at about 8, so this 4 a.m. vibe, I'm overwhelmed. I miss my bed. I'm firstly just trying to make sure I'm awake. I'm trying to be present and just make sure that I know what content I'm really going to be covering. I needed a little moment in between, so I decided to step out onto the balcony and take in this lovely sip of my McCafe. It's almost time to go live and my nerves are at an all-time high. I still have my voice though, so I should be okay. I've never gone live, let alone three whole hours of live television. Wow, this is going to be something else. It's going live. This means no mistakes, no, <laughs> no trouble, but I think I've got this. Stand by everybody and in five, four, three,
Good morning and welcome to this extra special episode of Expresso. My name is Fezim Kize. We're on live. Man, forget the flu. Let's do this. My name is Pelo Mokodi. If this mic was any lower and any closer to my chest, you could just hear doo-doo, doo-doo. <laughs> For now, let's head on over to the news headlines. I'm doing the news and we're going live in five seconds and I don't even know what the news is yet. Shannon Leibach in the house. Shannon, how are you doing? I'm nervous but excited. Uh, don't be nervous, just be confident. Let's get into the news. 100%. Three suspected poachers have been mauled to death by a pride of lions at Subaya Game Reserve in the Eastern Cape. Detectives combed the scene and the remains have been sent for forensic testing. I don't think it's going well because I'm smiling and I'm saying that people have died. That's not a good thing. I do think he was a little bit too smiley during the news because you have to be a little bit serious. But other than that, his nerves were calm. He delivered perfectly. He did not stumble. And at the end of the day, he delivered really, really well. So Shannon, on your first news experience on Expresso, you did a good job. Superstar, now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's kick off the sport, my brother. Ray, my boy, he's a mate. He's a boy. Um, I think he's such a cool guy. And if there's any presenter that I would like to be like, it is Graham. 100%. In other results, there were there was a day four wins for Rafael Nadal, Kai Niskoriki, and Angelique Kerber. <laughs> <laughs> as, long as, as long as you say it with an accent, bro, it yes, sounds yes. right, buddy. <laughs> well done. I think the only way to really handle a good mispronunciation is just that cute. Kerber. I know you're somewhere out there. Good um, job for his first <laughs> ever sports news bulletin. Shannon surprised me. I see him in the other episodes being the funny guy and came to the news and the sport, he handled it very well. You don't mess with the news, you don't mess with the sports because people will come for you. Okay, South Africa, let's have a look at your weather. It is showtime. Of course, in Bombela at a low of nine and a high of 18, Pretoria four and 16. I wasn't sure if 14 is warm because some of the places are like minus three. So should I say, hmm, nice weather because it's 14? Or should I go, it's still cold, dress up. Sutherland minus four with a high of 11 and Cape Town 921. I can't pronounce some of the cities and so I just decided to just skip them. Is it Worcester, Woosita? Springbok at 920 and Uppington at four. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to mispronounce it. <laughs> So you can just imagine the excitement on uh, in our studio this morning. We've got the top nine of presenter search on three with us. Of course, we've got the Fresh Breakfast team in the background as well. They're doing their thing. Guys, welcome to the show. It's great to see all of your faces in living color. How are the nerves? I love using my nerves to like push me forward. Mm. So I'm being pushed a lot. Excellent. I might fall over. <laughs> I didn't imagine that it would feel this way to be introduced to South Africa again. <laughs> But I'm really, I'm, it's, it's sinking in now. No, I've got nerves, excitement, it's like a, a weird sandwich yeah. that I don't exactly know how it all fits together. But man, it's great to be here. Katlejo is speaking to me. This is incredible. This man's an absolute legend. I'm excited to show you what I got. Oh. <laughs> the couch chat with Kat is Great. <laughs> What's your strategy? Oh, no, I, I love live. I'm holding the mic, Ryle. You might need this. I think they're doing very well in regarding the madness on set. Coming up, Ryle shows off his guns as the Expresso takeover shifts into second gear. If you do just one thing this year, bank better in 2018 with Capitech. What's going on? I, I don't understand. Having fun, guys? Nice. And you're doing absolutely... It's Raul's birthday today. Happy birthday, Brother Bear. I feel like you may have cursed me with the sickness, but it's going to be a great one today, dude. I haven't even thought about the fact that it's my birthday today. I've got so much to focus on here, and I think I'll start breathing and realizing that it's actually my birthday once this is all done. Three. Ooh, let's go. This is it. This is it. It's live. All right, so as Joy mentioned, it can be quite intimidating starting out of the gym, especially if you have no idea what the equipment's about. Luckily, I got fitness expert Jan Barnard here. He's going to be helping us out. Welcome. Yes. Showing us a nice, easy, simple workout. So, Jan, let's take it away. First of all, it's Raul de Mornay. Raul de Mornay? Yeah. <laughs> Raul de Mornay's birthday today, and it's Feel Good Friday here next week. So, let's make him noise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All of the best. Raul, you need to pay attention to your guest. Poor Rian was standing there trying to give a handshake to you to wish you happy birthday, but three times the charm. Rian wants to shake my hand so much. I'm actually honestly even forgetting about it. 
I'm really sorry for leaving you hanging, bro. <laughs> they say you're the fitness enthusiast in the South Yeah, hey. man. This is my flow state. This is what I love. This is my vibe. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit overshadowed. This is a lot of energy to deal with, but I think it's a nice role for me to facilitate this energy and at least bring it to the audience. So. I'm happy about that. Thank you so much. Well, and, and guys, yeah. the beauty of this workout, as I said, is this. This is the one that you can do at home. Raul's best factor is his looks. Great body, and ladies love that. What can I say about him? He looks great on camera. I'm certain by now you have your favorites. So join in the online conversation. Tag us at BeFoundOn3 with the hashtag PresenterSearch on 3 and let us know all of your thoughts. Well, you are officially plugged into the freshest way of starting your Friday, the feel-good way. Fresh Breakfast is here, man. Good. So good to have you guys here. Uh, and we'll be connecting with him, of course, throughout the show. Fresh and his entire team, plus the one million listeners, are counting on me. Valisa, on an entire a Fresh Breakfast show, first and foremost. Yeah. And Expresso, I'm so excited to be here. Hi, guys. Hi. Angie, Paul, and the big dog himself. Yeah. Having Metro's mic on me is also a mind-blowing experience because I'm trying to have the radio listener enjoy just as much as the television viewer. If you had to lose the person closest to you, what's the furthest you would go to honor that person's memory? Well, Liseho um, Zulu, wife of the late Kuku Zulu. I repeated Kuku Zulu's wife over and over and over again in my head because I'm a Zulu girl, but I still stumbled on her name. I'm sorry, Litepo. Have you guys done anything sentimental to commemorate someone you've lost? I know Big Doug is into the tats. Uh, yes, I've, I mean, I've got people all over my back that I looked up to, so yeah. Uh, ink, ink, yeah. ink. In fact, I've said when I die, skin me and turn and turn my no, no, for real, skin me and, and turn it into a tapestry. No, that's gross, what? man. Gross. That's I disgusting. Agree. Yeah, Fresh, you can't do that to us. No. I mean, how traumatic walking, walking into a whole big dog on a wall. Palissa's a beautiful girl. She looks amazing on camera, and she gives very good interviews. That was electrifying. My body is still like buzzing. <laughs> I think Palissa needs to just tone down a bit because you could tell she was a bit nervous, although she did settle into it. I have a Prince KB with me as today's victim. So this is how the game's gonna go, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling like, Musa, this is the moment you've been waiting for, and if I mess it up, I'm not talking to myself for the rest of my life. Uh, so has it always been the dream to be a club DJ across the world? No, it wasn't, actually. Um, it came very, very late in my life. I've always wanted to be a soccer star, um, if, not a so yeah, if, not, if not a soccer star, a cricket player. Well, doing live radio is not quite the same as doing live TV. Those butterflies, and you're not allowed to make them show. No? <laughs> so what can we look forward to for spring? Any new songs? Yeah, I'm dropping something with Pussy, so I shout out to Pussy so one time. Woo! <laughs> Pussy so. Yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. What's the song called? I don't have a name yet. Ah! Uh, yeah. You can call it Morsa. Oh, Musa. Yeah. Moose. Yeah. Moose, yes. Yeah. What is it about? What is it about? <laughs> I feel that I took his energy and I tried to, you know, merge it with mine and it worked. Wow, Musa is just a ball of energy, a lot of energy, but the energy needs to be refined a bit so that it doesn't become like unmanaged. It can be chaotic, yeah. She's great, under pressure. You could tell that she's presenting as a as a contestant, but um, yeah, she's dope, pretty dope. Sbu is also joining us, one of the main judges on Presenter Search on 3, and we thought to ask his opinion on uh, what you think about the top nine so far. How are they doing? I think they're handling it quite well. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of nerves, but there's also a lot of uh, good energy. Yes. You know, all the movement, all the mics, all the people. So I think it's going so well, and I think um, they really. I mean, it's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. It's still a competition. Yeah. So yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, we've just gone past seven. Here's an update on the roads. We're in the Gauteng Highveld. There's been an accident on the N1 southbound at the Brockfontein interchange, slowing down the traffic. And in the Western Cape, Athlone on the N2 inbound, there's been an accident on Bunga Avenue, blocking the center lane. I'm doing traffic, it's not what I'm used to. It's quite boring, but I think I made some fun out of it. Um, just a lot of nerves. It's crazy chaos, a lot going down. Jesus, my <laughs> Please proceed with caution. That's it for the traffic, over to weather. We've been suffering with some extremely chilly weather across the country, and it doesn't seem to be improving with the seven o'clock weather update. Let's get into the highs and the lows. When Fezile did the weather, he was doing the weather outside without an autocue. He had this tablet with him, but with doing that, he was reading it like this. 
a presenter never reads like that. You must always open your body up to the camera and be aware that the camera is on you, even though you're not on screen, your voice is. From trending to dancing, we're very excited to welcome to the studio this morning our South African Prince of House Music. From, you know, the most humble of beginnings, hopping clubs in Bloemfontein to ultimately going on to win DJ competition, Master of Spin on SABC1 back in 2015. DJ Prince KB has become a household name and is here to perform his hit trick, Wajelwa. If you know me, you know I really love to dance whenever I can. Now this is a beautiful icebreaker. Did you expect the song to do so well? When it comes to crazy and wild theories, there definitely is one tech conspiracy that stands out the most and has a lot of us shaking in our boots. And that is, of course, the question that has been bouncing around the studio the whole morning. And that is, does your phone secretly listen to you, your conversations, and share information with advertisers? Is there a specific app that's like top of the list of the ones that they're specifically targeting? It's like, this is the app that's going to share all your secrets. Well, Facebook naturally was, was one of the, one of of the main ones. And after all this uproar of people peeving into our technical and private space. What did the studies actually find, Dennis? My tech segment is going really well. I know nothing about technology, but Dennis is such a lovely person to interview, making great eye contact, and I just love it. So you can see pilo has got a little bit of experience on TV. You can see it in the way she speaks. Um, I think for live TV, however, you do need to adapt for a more uh, conversational tone. I think that's a skill she'll need to learn to change up a bit. Tabisa and Shannon, you guys were part of the bottom three last night. It must have been heart-in-mouth moments. Take yeah. me through that time when Babi was making the announcement and you, your heart is literally probably beating out of your chest. Dude, it sucks. Like, it's, um, you put in a lot of work for this and yeah. you kind of realize that sometimes it's not good enough. Sometimes <laughs> the pressure gets you. So when Pabi called my name, I was obviously a little bit upset, but I kind of expected it at the same time. I didn't do well, I don't think. Weirdly, being interviewed about being in the bottom three is fun. It's like so natural because there's no pretense, there's nothing, there's no pressure on me. So I don't mind it. It's a journey, sometimes you fall, you just gotta get yourself back up again. Any one of the three of us standing in the front there gone. was going home. True. And uh, that reality is not a fun reality yeah, when yeah. you're standing there. This interview has reminded me I was in the bottom three and that means heightened pressure to just do well this time around. All right, fantastic stuff. It's great to have you guys here. And people are absolutely loving you online yeah, as well. So keep it going, great. especially the way that you are. And remember, you can catch Presenter Search on 3 um, every Thursday on SABC 3 at 8.30. Repeats Saturday, 12 p.m. Good luck to the man on the stage right now. Fezile is about to have his moment. Presenter Search on 3 has given us so many of the faces we know and love, from Danila Quiso to the late Simba Mahera to Jonathan Boyton Lee and even Expresso's very own Zoe Brown. Told you guys I'm never going to read an auto cue again. I ad-libbed that entire intro section. We've watched them metamorphosize and blossom into incredible presenters. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much. How, how are you, you doing? I'm all right, and you are. And how are you feeling? Absolutely incredible to be here. And I mean, you look incredible in the suit, might oh, I add. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I try. <laughs> <laughs> I got Hamilton Nguba for my interview. It's incredible. He's the program manager for SABC3. It's a good thing I get to know him sooner rather than later. What is it you're looking for in terms of the presenter, the personality, to push the three flagship shows? Somebody who's going to come and just be authentic and just give us of themselves and be true to themselves and just have fun and enjoy the stage as they deliver. I don't want a tablet to prompt me on what to ask Hamilton. It feels more natural if I can just look him in the eye and we can engage. Hopefully it looks good on camera. And I know a lot of the times, and I know when I kind of started, you thought it was all glitz and glam standing here in this beautiful studio. You kind of forget that there is a lot of hard work behind it. What do you think is the most underrated thing we need to remember to keep pushing when it comes to presenting? Not a skill of having to think on your toes. Hamilton is the best. I could have given him two word questions and you would have just run with it. Made my job easier, saving the threat. First was amazing, the fact that he didn't use his tablet and then he just delivered and just owned the moment and I thought that was very impressive. You know, he really, really, ma it makes me feel comfortable, really loving being enjoyed by Fezzi. And just learned that he's also not well and it's impressive to see the, the tremendous interview that he just delivered. Coming up, as the morning progresses, contestants are finding their espresso groove. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe.
Myself and Musa have really become titans competition, but this week I feel adrift because we both want espresso so bad, and she's so good. Oh, I'm taking the espresso Vanessa's spot. Taking the espresso uh, Vanessa spot can go home and chill. She Musa. actually needs to go and audition right now. I've won already. <laughs> there is definitely an undercurrent of girl. If you don't get out of my way, because we both want it so bad, it's do or die. We all know the truth. That's all I'm saying. We know the truth. Palesa is a beautiful girl. She looks great on camera. She delivers her body of work nicely, but her opening is always a bit of a. So I think work on your opening, be in the moment, be present, and know when your cue is given to you by a director in your ear. Now, Kim Kardashian has celebrated Independence Day by, get this, wake surfing. Or at least trying to, the reality TV star queen. So this is for the very first time. The man who's always in the water, Mr. Baywatch himself. Out of 10, what do you give Kim? Well, I'm not going to lie. I actually have tried this before. I tried it and I thought, I think about it like 50 times. So props to her, man. She's really doing well. Really she actually good is. Yeah. yeah, look, she's holding she's it together She's holding down well. the balance. It doesn't look easy as well. So kudos to her. <laughs> yeah, but if you think Kim is having a bad day, then you have no idea what happened to this man that works at Sony Pictures Entertainment. So he basically, instead of, you know, sharing the movie Kali the Killer on their a website sharing um, you know, device, he ended up actually fully uploading the entire movie for the world to see. Overall, I think I did really well. I think I was composed, I was clear, I was precise. I tried to stay on my mark and not miss my cues. So I think I still stand a very fair chance of winning this competition. Pillar's beautiful, amazing, but forgettable. Yeah, you just uh, roll with the punches, man. Yeah? It's like we're live, you gotta go with it, it's happened, so just own it. Exactly <laughs> right, exactly right. Five dollars coming. Okay, we defy dance. Just throw that little jab in there. <laughs> yeah. We defy dance company. We defy dance company. They defy dance company. Already this show is live and I'm thinking to myself, I can't mess up, I can't make mistakes. And Lucian comes and adds another thing. I have to remember this and fit it somewhere within the script. Oh yeah, our music guest for this morning is the ever so talented Prince KB, who is here with the We Define Dance Company. He just won the best mail for the summers earlier on this year. And we are so proud of him, but he's about to give us something awesome that makes us so, so, so good this morning and kickstart our weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, Prince KB. <laughs> We have Prince KB in the background, the vibe is insane. These kids are having fun. And, and, and I love the fact that generally they are live TV ready. And uh, you know, it's, it's looking encouraging. Oh, listen, um, these guys are doing phenomenally well. The energy, the love and passion they have for this work is, is beautiful. It's, it's great to see them all bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and so enthusiastic about every single element of what we've been used to for the past seven years. Wishing them so, so much luck. All of the best guys keep giving it your all. You're doing amazing. James, which one of you taking the espresso slot? Okay. Yeah. Hell no. Uh, no. Listen, that goes listen. without saying. They were slow on the draw. When you're on espresso, you need to always be ready. They were too slow. <laughs> when you look at the colors, when you know, you know, you don't have to jump in to express it. I'm going to let my actions speak for themselves. You will see me later on the show. <laughs> Nobody likes to wake up to cappuccino, double shot espresso, dark, no more. Vanilla, chalk, mint. <laughs> I'm a double shot, no milk, dark. You know, afternoon express, espresso, I'm hosting her <laughs> at um, the I'm studios. I'm hosting her at afternoon express. You know. And she's hosting me at yeah, espresso. espresso. Yeah, espresso. See, we've so, got this. We've got I this. mean, sister vibes, <laughs> sisterly queens. love, queens, <laughs> so Lorena, you slay. Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are the presenter search guys doing now as we enter the final stanza of the show? You know, they're doing well, and now it's about the small technical detail. So it's those small mm. things that are really going to make the difference between good and great. The director just pulled me out randomly, and I'm sitting with DJ Fresh on Metro FM. What kind of world am I living in, man? The ladies on social media are loving it. <laughs> 
I have been. In fact, many were upset when uh, there was a shot of you and your girlfriend. And, and I think uh, one of your auditions, uh, you took your top off and you showed your six pack. Um, it was really hot and, and I was scared oh, that oh, I was, oh, was going to get heat stroke. It's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Would you say showing your six pack in hospital helps some people get better? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very serious announcement. I have never, nor will I ever take off my shirt in a hospital. I've never had being interviewed on Metro FM on my bucket list because I didn't think it was ever going to happen. But check. Recently voted as one of the coolest banks in the 2018 Generation Next Youth Survey, Capitec Bank's Head of Marketing, Sibuzi Zokumalo, is in the studio to shed some light on this topic. Sibu is one of the judges. I've got a chance to be face to face with him. This is my moment. Why is it so important for individuals and companies to establish themselves as a brand over and above the products and services that they offer? We're faced with uh, the great three C's. That's competition, mm. change, and complexity. Mm. So in an environment where we are con constantly competing for either share of wallet, share of voice, or whatever it is, yeah. we have to stand out. Topish is a very stylish person. He brings it on camera, and you can see it. There's a bit of a confidence factor that plays very well with him. In a workplace, it could really help you propel your career. To the next level. To the next One level. tip for someone watching at home right now around, you know, starting with their brand building mission. That one thing they need to do to get it right, just to start. I think it is good to see Tabiso actually in his element. You can actually pick up the energy. So for me, to experience him as both a participant and an observer was cool. I think it did well. I like it. I thought he did well. I love this interview, the way he carried the thing, he was comfortable, and I think he's finding his, his space of comfort. Evaluate and align with what's happening. Thank you so much, Spusi Sokumano, no, Head you. of Marketing for Capitec Bank. In such a competitive environment, it is very, very important to use the correct tools that are available to all of us to make your brand visible and position yourself before your competitors and above your competitors. That was amazing. It was my chance to show to him what I'm made of. So he doesn't see it on the screen. He's seeing it live and direct. <laughs> and coming up, everything seems to be going so well. What could go wrong? If you do just one thing this year, bank better in 2018 with Capitech. Dennis Ngango is a digital content creator who's used to being in front of the camera, but his cameraman Bongani Baloi isn't. <laughs> and yesterday he took center stage as he embarked on a journey full of firsts. This is live, so don't mess up, okay? You do not have another take. Even if you mess up, just keep going. Keep going with it. Keep rolling. With you, Dennis, you won the Samsung yes. social search. Um, how was that like? And what do you think is the importance of winning such a competition? I think for me especially, it opened me up to a completely different world. Living life. And I yeah. also see on your um, YouTube channel that yes. it's opened up doors to speaking to people that you may have not spoken to had exactly. you not. Uh, my a... channel's called Defining Dennis. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we've spoken to Russell Simmons, Nomza Mumbata. <sighs> yeah. My interview with Dennis right now is going perfectly he's giving me what i want even his uh, cameraman is giving me what i want surprisingly because he's never been interviewed before so this is good mm. hopefully us at the from the presenter search when we win we'll get opportunities like that no as problem. well um there is a social media aspect to our competition mm. what do you think is the importance of actually um thank you so much for uh joining us and um lorena was told by the technical director that she has 10 seconds left of her interview and mid-sentence Mid-question, she stopped the interview. What happened? I stuff it up. Wow. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining us, and um, we'll lead on to the next presenter. <laughs> I think she struggled because she had the count, and the count threw off. That's those last 10 seconds, and I think as the counting was going in, just as she asked the next question, she didn't, she didn't know to continue with the question or to close it off, and then she went with closing it off. Tough. Look, understandable, Lorena was a bit thrown off by the director in her ear, counting her down. But I think that's the trick of the trade. You need to learn to listen and to talk at the same time. So just finish, wrap up your commentary and then throw over to the next presenter. And I think that's a big learning curve for Lorena. Lucien steps in to give some comfort, but in the world of live TV, there are no retakes. She did very well. Yeah. I think it was a bit rocky, but we can always live with that. It's live TV. It's the first time. I feel, so. I feel terrible. 
No, you shouldn't. No, I feel, I feel that. No. It's a learning curve. Yeah. 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 Lucian is telling me that everything is fine, it happens, but I really don't feel like everything is fine and that it happens. <laughs> What's a feel-good breakfast show without your feel-good breakfast? We're about to embark on the espresso omelette challenge and I'm standing in between these two muscle tough guys and they're going to be giving us a breakdown of how they prepare an omelette. If you don't know how it goes, they're going to be given a minute and a half each to both prepare, plate and serve me an omelette. I'm going to be the judge of that. I see it's getting a little tense in my eye line. So are you guys ready? Three, two, one, omelette off. Now, now. <laughs> ah, man, I love working with the Fez and omelets are like my thing, so this should be easy. I'm gonna smoke this guy. It's me versus Raul again, and the stakes are high again. Somebody's gonna have to take off their shirt, and this time it's not gonna be me. Guys, I time is I'm running out. Ready. You might wanna throw okay. some onto the pan. Okay. Ooh, ooh, wow, Raul, right? well, just the oil. all of the oil. Why don't you? I just put a tad bit too much oil in that egg, I think. I think it was. One part egg, one part oil in <laughs> that ratio. Raul and Fezile are a complete mess. Raul pours all his oil into his pan, and I just knew from then that he's definitely lost the challenge. Moment of truth. Remember, yeah. I have to taste this, so actually make sure that you cook it. Oh, oh it's, it's getting cooked. You guys cooked. have 30 seconds to plating, so let's get cracking with it. Make sure that you actually cook the egg, please. Oh, I've got time, man. I can chill. Oh, you know, well, oh really? Uh, <laughs> watch, watch him <laughs> eat his words. Or better yet, nobody confident. eats his omelette. <laughs> Bello is an absolute maestro. Me and Raul can get carried away, but she keeps whipping us back into shape. Chef Fez definitely has a lot. <sighs> Raul, you put too much oil. I'm actually choking. And as the loser, you have to unbutton your oh, shirt. Oh, come on, of big course. reveal. Of course. Right. Can I, just, I only got two eggs. Quickly, so we don't have two. time, babe, to say. Feel big breakfast show. Quickly. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, that's the bottom Well done, two. guys. As a winner, I'm waiting for my trophy. Uh, I'm like your to thank trophy. My mother. Um, oh, there you go. I'd like <laughs> to thank my mother and, um, and the man upstairs for giving me such amazing always. flick of the wrist. Omelette gods. <laughs> guys, you know, it's always fun to be raw because I love him. I love him like a brother. And just taking him out, just it brings him down a couple of notches. <laughs> oh, raw, you're so amazing. You're the fastest guy in the world. Can you make an omelette in a minute and a half? Off. No. Apparently not. No. <laughs> it's been quite an electric morning as two of the hottest breakfast shows in Mzanzi are broadcasting live from the same place. Your Feel Good Breakfast Show is serving you a healthy dose of Metro FM's Fresh Breakfast and we've been loving having DJ Fresh, Mpo my boy, and Angie Kumalo in the studio with us. Mpo uh, Solonyani, get it right. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. I feel like that was sabotage. <laughs> The teleprompter says poor my boy, and as I come back to her, DJ Fresh, a judge, tells me that I got her name wrong. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no, that's great. At least now we're learning. Yeah. So, madam, yes. you are amazing. You're Thank incredible. You. And we spoke about you changing your surname. How's it been? Because your husband is a soccer player. Yes, Habi is a soccer player, and uh, changing the surname has not been easy um, because, you know, when you br uh, build a brand around yourself, uh, you now almost have to reintroduce yourself to people. So it's been quite a journey. I got her surname wrong, but I turned into a point of conversation and I think I got this right. You're a sports reporter, so what happens when your husband plays badly? How do you how do you do that? And how do you report when it? he plays badly, he's no longer my husband, he's just a player. <laughs> I love these women because they work harder than what is expected of them. Yeah. And and I think one lesson you guys can learn from them is exactly that. Wow. That don't be afraid to go beyond your call of duty. Because you don't know who's watching, you don't know who's listening, yeah. you don't know where your next gig is coming from. This is some really good advice. It's nice to get some positive words from DJ Fresh, who's actually a judge. So if I know that that's the guy that works more than is expected of him, maybe that's the guy to give a job to, so, wow. yeah. I, I saw you looking into my eyes when you said that's the guy to give a job to. <laughs> <laughs> just seeing the smile, I think he just blossoms. His smile just translates to his whole face. And then just seeing him interviewing the team there, uh, it's amazing, he just, He's on point. I can never fault him. I think he's just growing. He has proven us wrong, or me rather, wrong. I enjoyed Harmony. Um, I there's nothing that I love more than having eye contact with somebody when you're speaking to them. Mm. So for me, having interviewed a lot of people before, eye contact is very important and he makes you feel comfortable. He's, he's quite chill. Yeah. 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 Harmony Gold. <laughs> <laughs> so what you did there? <laughs> No, I feel 
like they they can walk into a a TV show and actually present it, and yeah. it would be perfectly fine. They feel like they're so ready already, and I wish the best of luck to someone who has to pick one out of these guys <laughs> because they are brilliant. Yes, yeah. we are about to eliminate. I'm still gonna ask him the question. Am I on? Am I not on? The director's queuing me in, but I can't hear anything. I'm confused, do I go? Well, the moment we've all been waiting for, the song that has been blazing the airwaves, Ukoko will even tap her feet to it, <laughs> Club Controller. Thank you, take it away, Mr. Prince Thank KB. you so much. And your dance company. I'm a girl who likes to move, and Club Controller is a banger. Famous Friday dance, didn't even feel like we were still filming the show. It just felt like we had all knocked off. It was a Friday night and we were really living our best lives. There's a lot of energy here. There's some awesome vibes and everybody's throwing down. So it's really cool because it's distracting everyone from how bad I actually am at dancing. <laughs> Everybody's dancing, I'm joining in. I just did three hours of Expresso and I still have my voice. I'm invincible right now. The dancing is so much fun. I don't remember when last I learned a routine and got choreography. Ah, we did amazing. What has happened during the show has happened. I stuffed up, but there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is do the Friday dance and get into the weekend. This dance is so much fun. I didn't expect Expressa to be such a jaw. It's time for some flossing with harmony, just to get a little bit of screen time. I hope it looks okay on camera. I don't know. Ah, oh, my favorite moment. Everything is done. We feel like we're celebrating now. It's over. Our top nine have been celebrating their success as they've tackled a three-hour live TV show. They dance to celebrate, but will the dancing continue in elimination? You'll have to stick around to find out. Next, the judges deliver their verdict. Who will step out of the spotlight? Bank better to live better with Capitec. From the Expresso Studio, the top nine are in front of the judging panel to find out who will step out of the spotlight. Hello once again, contestants. Have you recuperated from this morning? <laughs> well, first and foremost, you can be very proud of yourself. Getting through live television for three full hours is a very, very commendable thing as a TV presenter, so well done on that. But you know, you were under the watchful eye of the judges and uh, they scrutinized absolutely everything that you did on that set this morning. So as per usual, I'm going to call out three presenter hopefuls to be in the bottom three. When you hear your name, please step forward into the spotlight. It's Judge O'Clock. Never really a fun time on the watch, but we have to cut it down to three, so let's go. I haven't slept at all, and I'm just feeling so numb. I've been up since 3 a.m. in the morning, and now someone's getting eliminated. I'm tired. Espresso went really well, better than I thought, but hey, man, we'll see what happens. Of all the challenges on the show, there's only one that I really care about, and that is the Expresso Live Challenge. So if I go home today, I'm going to cry a little bit. The first name in the bottom three is Balisa. I'm extremely hurt to hear my name called out first. Expresso is meant to be my baby. I'm disappointed. Wow. Balesa, I did not see that coming. Balesa's in the bottom three. Anyone could be in the next two spots, but they're not going to call my name. The second person in the bottom three tonight. It's Laurina. Laurina, in the bottom three? She's so good at what she does. How can she be in the bottom three? The judge is calling out my name. I feel like it's warranted. I just hope I'm not going home. And finally, rounding out the bottom three after the Espresso takeover. It's Ryle. Huh. Ryle, no! Did I stuff this up? 
What did I do wrong? I'm not surprised Rao is in the bottom three. I expected it to happen. No, not Rao. Brother Bear is gonna pull through. This is it's just a hiccup. It's just a hiccup. Not Rao. At this point, I'm going to hand over to our judges for their comments to all our contestants. First things first, um, I'm sad that one of my favorite auditions for this entire TV show is standing in front of me, so I'm a bit bummed uh, because of that. But having said that, I think all three of you did your thing. So don't for a minute think that you're less of a performer than everyone else that's not standing here. Uh, you all did your thing. Um, I think it probably boils down to one or two niggles, the difference between one and the other eight. So please bear that in mind the whole time. My biggest concern with you, uh, Pali, was your hesitation when it's time to go live. Uh, live is live. When we're going live, you go live, like now, immediately. That was my main concern with you. Laurina, you are a blogger. You had bloggers on a couch, but they seem to be having more fun than you were. So for me, that was a bit of a concern because I figured you're a fish and we brought you water. Swim. Uh, you know, throw in some of your own experiences in terms of uh, your world of blogging. And obviously also at the end, I don't know, there was a bit of a stop in the broadcast. Uh, that was, uh, for me, uh, a bit of an eyesore. Uh, Ryle, um, you're a gym guy. And when you have another gym guy in studio giving a session, that's your time to shine. Even if you weigh 500 kilograms, it's your show. You need to be more confident than whomever is the guest, even if they're an expert in their own field. Uh, it's your show. I almost felt like there were two alpha males, but the one was almost in awe of the other. You can't have that. It's your studio. And he must know who's the boss, whether or not he's fitter than you. So remember that, and it's your birthday. Have fun with it. I mean, there was an opportunity to mention that it's my birthday when he spoke about um, doing as many setups as your age, for instance. There was an opportunity to banter with him, but it almost felt like you were almost in awe of his fitness. When you're a flipping fit guy yourself, I mean, you should have bench pressed him. <laughs> something. But, but like I said, just overall, you guys actually, you did the thing. I think the pots are smiling wherever they are. Every time the judges give feedback, I really just absorb it and take it in for the next challenge. The two words I'd like to say to the three of you are well done. You really were amazing. And as Fresh says, the difference between the three of you and the other contestants standing there is very slight. So Palesa, you have a wonderful energy and you were great live. But just with the inserts, we told you, you have to be able to react immediately to what your director asks you to do. Your floor manager controls the floor. And the feedback from Lucian was that you were slow on all your cues, that he'd give you the countdown and you were slow to take him up on that. And that's negative feedback for us. So you have to be able to react live to your floor manager. He's giving you your direction. And Laurina, you were doing so well. The interview was going swimmingly and I thought this is wonderful. We've given you the blogger, you've asked the right questions, you've spoken about first. And then suddenly it died. The fact that you were given your instructions in your ear and that you had to wrap the interview threw you totally. And when you go live, it's a producer's nightmare if the presenter freezes live on air. And that's what happened. You froze and you couldn't just naturally wrap the interview. So. That was an issue. And Rao, when Rion said to you, happy birthday, you needed to seize that. And happy birthday, I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful 6th of July for you and that you have many more. But Rion almost stole the show from you. So you were there, you were auditioning, you were our top nine finalist, and suddenly he was doing all the talking, not you. And you could have commented so much more to him because this was your field of expertise. So it was as if he took your moment away from you, took your shine. These judges' comments are brutal. I didn't think I did that badly. Um, I tried to play my guest up a bit, but not to the point where it pushed me down that much. Every time the judges give us feedback, I just, I learn more and more. Today has been especially good because I'm pretty much similar to Ra in terms of how I approach things. So I need to be listening. 
Okay, so I guess it's well done. I think you put some hard work into this and really winning and losing is those small things, those small increments. So I think um, it's sad to see you in the bottom three and I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you, Palisa. I'll, start, I'll, I'll, I'll end with you. So I'll just start with uh, Raul. I think, yes, I, I have to agree with patience. I think you let your guest steal the thunder from you and it's something that you should have been comfortable with and should you stay in this competition I think you really need to be conscious of that and up your game and make sure that you're always bringing the personality um, you've 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 got it you just need to come out a little bit more and make sure that you take control and remain in the driving seat Lorena I think you're great lovely personality you speak well you've got lots of confidence and I think today it was an opportunity especially in the interview you did with the bloggers that's your space that's your domain that's what you've done that's what got you here you're playing it very safe and I always say if you're not willing to risk you cannot grow and if you cannot grow you can't become your best and if you can't become your best you can't be happy and if you can't be happy, then what's the point? So I think stop playing it safe. If you make it through, you really need to think about you and your personality and how you want to bring it when you're in that moment. And make sure that you have to start sometimes take some risks because you're gonna have those moments when things don't go according to plan and you really need to think on your feet. I'm very disappointed that you're in the bottom three because you're the only contestant I put through from KwaZulu-Natal. And for me, you're my favorite. And I expect you to come out and to shine and to be on top. So for me, it's a big disappointment to see you here. If you do make it to the next round, I want you to up your game. I don't want to see you in the bottom three again. You are my favorite, you've got the potential, you've got the talent, I think you just need to bring it through. The judges' comments are right on mark. I felt it. My entries were not as clean and quick as they need to be. This is such a difficult competition to judge because you are really all good. So I'm not going to reiterate what the judges have said, but it's basically that sums up my feedback as well. When I judge your work, I think of it because I am a TV presenter and I'm also a live presenter. So I think of what you've done, but what it could have been. And today was really a little bit lacking for me. Um, Palesa, I think listening not, is not only important when you're doing an interview, but you've got to be listening to everything at the same time. And live is very hard because you're trying to listen to the person that you're interviewing. You're trying to think of your next question to formulate a conversation. And you're listening to your director and your floor manager all at the same time. It's kind of like playing drums. You need a lot of coordination to pull off live TV. It's not easy. And that's why well done to all of you because it really is very, very difficult, especially your first time. But you didn't listen you didn't take any of your cues and and that's a huge problem because you don't have another take that's your one shot same thing with you Larina it's it's unfortunately when you are listening to the director in your ear you have to be able to talk at the same time and listen at the same time it's like circular breathing it's like a full panic because naturally you want to stop and listen to what they're saying but you can't you're leaving your audience hanging so that is a huge one especially if you're interested in live tv that is literally the ultimate fail you, you, you can't do that. And I just felt with your interview with bloggers, you were interviewing Dennis who had won a reality show presenting competition. You could have related it to where you were so much more, and yet you didn't. You, you literally had so much to work with there, and the interview ran very flat. Ryle, happy birthday. You really shouldn't be here on your birthday, and especially from a live show like Espresso, where you could have killed it. Um, you looked tired and you looked disinterested and your energy just wasn't there. There was so much more that you could have done, done with it. And so no, you didn't, you didn't bring it today, unfortunately. Espresso is such a lively, high energy show and you flatlined. Am I gonna go down on my birthday? When your spotlight turns off, that will mean it's the end of your presenter search on three journey. Cue the lights. There's lights are going. 
I don't know where I want them to stop, but all I know is I do not want Lorena to go home. I'm up here, and now I just want to know. I'm ready to know. You step out of the spotlight. Larina, your journey has come to an end. I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> Just like that, literally, a switch of a light. How do I lose two people in two weeks? This is getting so hectic. I can't say I'm too surprised that I'm going home. Um, I did see myself going home because everybody else, I mean, Top nine, you guys are, you guys were a good competition. I'm very sad to see Laurina go. She brings such a spunk to the competition and she's really good at what she does. She definitely has a future. Very bright too. Yeah. If there is a girl to take my spot on Expresso, I thought it was gonna be Laurina. She's so genuine. The other girls are excellent at what they do, but Laurina's genuine, so I'm broken. My journey on Presenter Search on 3 has been amazing. I did what my mother said I should do, which is have fun. I've had a lot of fun, I've learned a lot, and I'm going to use this going forward. So, patience, call me. Join us again next week as Presenter Search on 3 takes over another show on SABC3. Until then, good night. After everything we've had, three hours of early morning TV, and I've been trying to suffer through this flu, what else could they throw at us? I wonder what the next challenge is. We did WTF, we did Trending SA, Cape Town did Afternoon Express, and we just did Expresso. All that's left is top billing. Enjoy a moment in between with McCafe. Another feel-good production.